we're here at our new project. I think that the customer wants is artificial grass all throughout his backyard. So the thing that we need to do is we need to drop it down, get all this rock out, and get ready for our base. Once our base is in, it's ready for the grass. And then I'll... Well, yeah. So, the customer wants uh, grass all in his backyard. So, each fence, we're, we need to go drop it down four inches, give our two inch base. That way our, our grass has enough uh, clearance underneath each gate. So, we will be taking out this rock all the way through that way we can level it off with our our base we'll be ready, ready for our grass and we're gonna keep these as well we're gonna keep each circle for the tree and cut out for the the patio so other than that everything else is gonna be grass so we gotta we got ourselves a good project here We got uh, three quarters of the gravel out of here. Just this next run, that all we need. And then uh, we can start breeding in our crusher finds. I think we're gonna start on that side and work our way out this way. Because if we can get the trailer closer, it'll be a whole lot easier for us. So That's the plan so far. Yeah, whatever Joey said, we're on this job this morning. So they've got a lot done actually. Look at all this in one day, pretty much a day. Cause, you know, so yeah, I mean, these guys are rocking it out. Got all this existing gravel out already pretty quickly. So a big change really going from hardscape bland gravel to all green grass, artificial grass. So it's gonna be pretty cool. the rock out now it's time to bring in our base we got to give it a nice little layer of uh, crusher fine so that way when we tamp it it's gonna stay nice and tight and compact so that way there's no divots or holes later on the crusher fine acts like a good base because it has little pebbles and has a lot of uh, sediment the sediment is what actually gets it all uh, compact. All the, the dirt acts like uh, the glue to the rock. Pretty much cures like a concrete base. So instead of doing a concrete base, we use this stuff and we compact it and it acts the same. It compacts like concrete and it's inexpensive compared to concrete. spots getting it ready for our grass next thing is to get our measurements that way we can cut it at the warehouse bring it over here and slap it in what Fred did he ran the plate compactor through here we leveled it we brought in well we brought in our uh, crusher finds we leveled it and we ran the plate compactor a couple times 
so that way it's nice and and flat and level for their for our grass so like i said our next next thing to do is take our measurements so that way we can cut it off site and then bring it in and it'll be a better fit And it's just gonna be me and you. Yeah, it looks good. It looks ready for our grass. Now our only dilemma is which way is gonna be the easiest way to install it. Cause one, we gotta think about all the seams that we're gonna have to put together. And two, we gotta think about how we're gonna bring it in here in order to install it. The easiest way is running it this way, but it leaves us with too many seams. Agendas. Mm -hmm. Cutting it that way, it cuts down on the number of seams, but it's harder because this is going to be one full roll and it's only going to be me and him. So basically to, to actually put it in here, we're going to have to bring in the roll, go up like this, roll it out and then bring it in to match the cutouts. It's going to be heavy because it's, it's 56 feet long. And it's going to end about right here. And we got to make sure all our cutouts are pretty close that way we don't have too many seams. Cause I think that's the hardest thing is to get the seams to blend in. We already got the, the base, we got our level. All we need now is our grass. grass in now we're leveling it out taking out the creases and stapling it in when stapling the grass a thing that, that we have noticed is if you staple with the the grain it makes it a whole lot easier to to split the bristles once you get to this point the thing you want to do is you want to run your staple to the side to split the bristles so that way it looks more professional and there's no divot suffered yesterday because you weren't here to record the difficulties we had yesterday moving in a, a roll of fake grass just two of us This is one, one piece of grass, this is the second piece of grass, this is the seam. What we need to do is we need to smash it up and uh, actually get the, the bristles to interlock and it makes it less noticeable. Shout out to our, my partner Fred and Richie in order to do a good job. We got it all stapled. We got it all leveled out. We did here in the back and in the front. Luckily, it came out to be a nice project. It's a very good transformation. Took out all the rock. And we put grass where they wanted the grass and it came out awesome. Up to the next one. <laughs>